So I'm back and we're in the garden again and I'm going to do the dill seeds that I showed you in the previous video. What I did is I, I prepared my pot. I took out all the old stuff from the previous harvest and I went ahead and I put a little bit of um, mulch in here so that it can drain really well. And I'm using an or organic um, soil as well as a fertilizer. This is just an all purpose fertilizer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on top here and then kind of mix it like that, just barely into it, about an inch into the top. And then I'll show you what these seeds look like. Get this open. So these are the seeds. They're not tiny, but they're not really huge either. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle them over the top because I've never grown dill before. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of soil right on top here. It only needs about a quarter inch, so we don't need too much. And then when you have seedlings, most seedlings need to be watered every day for the first week at least to get them going. So we're going to go ahead and pour some water over the top of this. So I just want to mention, you know, lawns are beautiful and they don't have too much of a purpose really besides cosmetic. If you have any space at all, which we all pretty much do, you can just grow a few things. It's pretty rewarding. Not everything takes a lot of effort. It can be pretty easy to do. If it doesn't grow in your garden, try something new that works for you. I always try a lot of different things. Sometimes you have certain bugs that are attracted to your garden that may not be attracted to someone else's garden. For example, I've never had tomato worms until this year, um, but I hear that that's a very, very common problem. So I've always had very successful tomato plants growing but it's really you know kind of fun to watch it grow and pick things that don't take a long long time if you're a beginner or you don't have a lot of time but it's rewarding to have something that you can put on your table that you grew at home and like you see I'm just growing it in a in a pot here so you could just you know put that on a patio if you don't if you have a lawn and you don't want to you know create like a little garden space because of that but um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will show you what the deal looks like, if it's successful, how long it took, and give you some updates on that in the future. I think it takes uh, about three weeks for the seedlings actually to start coming up. So we won't know anything till then, which ones were successful and which ones weren't, or how much of a space. And it also doesn't mention the harvest time. So, you know, it's still kind of up in the air for me right now, but I know, you know, something should happen. So I'll give you guys an update on that. Thank you so much. Have a great Memorial Day weekend, and we'll see you next time.